Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. I was waiting. I was waiting for your intro. I thought you were really. You, I was. I was about to really go for it. But. I know. I thought I was waiting. <laughs> I was waiting. Uh, as yeah, a girl. It's been, uh, I was waiting for you the to see the anticipation. Yes, of the celebration. It, yeah. So sorry, guys. It's Celebrate worth. good times. Never mind. Uh, okay. You see. <laughs> You know, you can't even do cool in the game right by. You know what? Talk to me. <laughs> anyway. Anyways, well, hey, girl. It's hello. Good. Well, hello, everyone. What? Welcome. Welcome. Woo. Today yeah. is a special day. We're well, every it. time we record is special, but today is extra special because it's our anniversary. Yay. Girl, can you believe? This is the longest relationship I've ever had. Girl, <laughs> let me tell you. I mean, I was like ready to cut you off at any point, but I was like, I just can't cut you off yet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I bring joy to your life. <laughs> yes. Let's okay. Go. And drive you crazy. crazy. All at the same time. All at the same time. Listen. I know. Okay. So let's crack open yes. our Moscato. Let's celebrate. And you know what? I even did a little better for you. Okay. Because, you know, I usually give you hot wine. Yes. So you get lit. Yes. I actually chilled. Oh. Fancy. Okay. And it's a Moscato. Okay. And it's because, you know, you like you like uh, yes. pink and you like all yes, that I stuff. Yes, I do. So I got you. Yes. Uh, we got, got the a pink little, purse. Got it all. Yes. We Thank got a little you. pink Moscato Woo-hoo. to celebrate our anniversary. Chug, chug. Yes. I'm very excited. Got the nice glasses. Yeah. You know, I, okay. I can be. I can't. I, let me be who I want to be. I can be bougie. Bouge, bouge. Yes. Okay. At all times. Yeah. Bouge, you know, y'all. You know, I was like, I got to act like I'm bouge. Not that I'm not, you but fancy, I'm bouge. Huh? Yeah, I'm fancy. <laughs> bouge on a budget. I'm fancy. Hey, <laughs> all listen, right, well. Baller on a budget. Right? Cheers. Cheers. Two Ooh. years. Yay. Wow. Let's taste this. Ooh, ooh, not bad. Fancy. Yeah, I got Good. a little, um, yeah. A, a little, little bite magic, to it. Uh, mm, okay. Okay. You got the whole little, little platter, platter and everything. Yeah. I decided I was, I, you know, no carbs today. Yeah. I decided just a little. I love it. Yeah, a little extra mm-hmm. bouginess for um, our taste. Yeah, because, you know, I'm on this new healthy kick, you know, and stuff like that. So I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. Especially Trying now you need you need it since yeah. you don't sleep. I know. It's, yeah, let's catch up because here you go. I know. Here I go. Already. Because okay. you know we don't see each other until the day we record. Exactly. This is going to be kind of a two-part, you know, hot topics, catching up and stuff like that. You know how we do. Just deal with it. Okay. <laughs> First. <laughs> Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Listen, today. I'm just. Just saying. But yeah, no, I've been dealing with um, sleep insomnia. I cannot sleep at all. And it's like, what is happening? Because usually, you know, I'm a night, I go to bed early mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, you but, are your grandma. <laughs> whatever. But lately, I haven't been sleeping. And, um, you know, I'm going to try some of your tricks with meditation and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to see how that goes. But yeah, I, I cannot shut my brain off. I have a lot going on. Yeah, it's too which much. Which is great, but good, I'm but not stressed, but I guess your brain keeps going. You got to learn. Going. You got to learn to uh, quiet your brain. Mm-hmm. And meditation does that. So like I said, I got a few apps for you. Okay. I'll give you the apps and then we'll next time we meet mm-hmm. up, you know, we talk about it again. Yeah. We'll talk about how well you're doing. We'll give, you got to yeah. give it at least 30 days. Okay. I'll do that. You know? I'll do that. And then you, you'll legit and then just put in some headphones. Okay. Or if not, you, you want to try to be in a quiet space, which you know you are. Mm-hmm. And then just either put in your headphones, no TV, no nothing. I would do a little... And then just like like do follow the rules mm-hmm. and breathe, girl. Before you know it, yeah. you'll be like me <laughs> drooling. Know, me you. wake up in the morning and be like, "What happened? <laughs> I got good sleep." <laughs> You're a mess. I swear to God. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. And I've been doing, you know, working out, eating healthy, um, not really drinking. Well, besides here, but <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been doing good so far. So it's just got to get my brain to kind of calm down a little bit. Um, but on the second part of that. A lot has been happening. All right. Look, what, here we go. No, good stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Go. Um, I got nominated for another film festival. Uh, yeah, Woo-hoo! I saw. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. And it was for my short film, which I did two years ago. So this is a two-year-old short film. And for mm-hmm. it to get accepted into a new festival, I was like, what is happening? So I'm really, really super proud of that. And then on top of that, I went to an event um, with, um, it was the Rainbow 
push course. Yeah, you were telling me something about that. Yeah, but we didn't get it was to, through mm-hmm. a friend. Um, I was invited, and it was really lovely. It was the anniversary uh, birthday celebration for Reverend Jesse Jackson. Oh, okay, which I got a picture. Um, it's a little ja- blurry. The Jackson is still around. Yes, and so I got to meet him, take a photo. Right, how nice. Um, it was really nice. Um, and then I got to take a photo with Jamil Hill. Oh, oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So well, was- you know, because she's got to been under a lot of controversy and mm-hmm. all kinds of stuff. But, you know, after ever since she left um, um, ESPN, she gives mm-hmm. zero fucks. So I'm all about her right I know. now. I love it. I love I, it. I love it, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. So I've been doing that, and then I published two more books. Woo-hoo. Uh, okay, that's why you can't sleep. <laughs> you publishing books like... You're you're spinning them out like you're spinning them out like babies. I don't know, like the like the because du- I'm never having babies, so it'd be like my book, girl. My book, baby. I mean, but the the vagina still when you have babies, the vagina needs time to heal. Oh you can't God. just spit out another baby. You just spin them out and not giving your brain a chance. To- and I got one more coming okay, in November. You, <laughs> you can't even let your brain like relax for a second. That's why you can't sleep. But no, I wrote these books in like July or August. So, but there is the marketing behind it, so yeah. that takes a lot, mm-hmm. you know. But yeah, I've had a book released in September, October, and then one coming out in November. So I've been a little busy, good, but busy. You think? Uh, <laughs> I'm not. You know, it is what it is. What mm-hmm. can I say? Hustle, hustle. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. But got a lot more coming up, you know, in 2020. So I'm really excited. But what have you been doing? Same shit, different day. <laughs> <laughs> what you want me to say? I heard you were in Boston. Yeah, what well, was going on with that? No, I went out there to um, to link up with um, one of our uh, one of the companies I work for. Whatever, took a class with them, and then I taught a class out there. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Boston. It was real dope. It was real nice. I got to see family I haven't seen mm-hmm. in forever. I actually took my mom with me so she could like see. It was her birthday too, right? Yeah, recently. Okay. Uh huh. So. Um, but we were in L.A. for that, but we had basically just come back from Boston, and then two okay. days later, her, it was her birthday. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, it was good. It was, you know, good. Um, I'm taking off again, so. Where are you going this time? I'm going to Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be in Florida for, I think, a couple of days, and then I'll come back, and mm-hmm. then I go to San Francisco. So I'm a busy bee, but a San Francisco <laughs> trip is for me. Oh, okay. To see some family. You driving or flying? I'm flying. Okay. Which airline? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Listen. Here we this, go. Southwest. Okay, okay. Why? Girl, let me tell you. Because I, Southwest flies out of, it's the close. I mean, Southwest flies from the um, airport <clears throat> I like the closest to. All I know is American Airlines was contacting passengers because a flight attendant had um, hepatitis A and didn't tell oh, anybody. Oh, hell no. Didn't tell anybody. And so now they're contacting all the passengers from San Francisco flight. They're contacting everybody to let them know. Please go get checked out. So, uh-uh. That girl need to be fired. So this is my thing. Like, why aren't people, you know you if you have something or whatever, and it can affect somebody else. Why not? Well, if she was a flight attendant, I think it was more of her livelihood. Yeah. I think she's thinking, you know, the way the economy and the way people are right now. Mm-hmm. I think she was probably thinking of, oh, man, if I don't go to work, I don't get paid. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you're still not going to get paid because mm-hmm. now you're infecting other people. And yeah, you're affecting their lives. And exactly. Everything. Now you got your you're up for a, a liability suit unless mm-hmm. unless she did not know. Yeah. But I, you know, the likelihood, maybe she got sick. She didn't know. And now yeah. they're like, you know, all kinds of stuff. But damn. Mm hmm. And I fly all the time. I'm I know. Have to fly that's with why the I was, mask. That's why I was when, that's why I was wondering. I was like, hmm. And this is always going to San Francisco. Yeah, but I'm, right. you know, but I fly all over the place. Yeah, but yeah I know. Crazy. SF, I, t- I take uh, Southwest. Mm-hmm. It's easier for me. Okay, perfect. Now, how is the Wax Facts going? It's YouTube going show? good. We uh, put, we have like three videos up, which I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. And then um, you yeah, already the views. Have you seen them? Uh. <laughs> um, you know, see, you never- you, I, well, listen, I'm learning, okay? You I had like 1,500 views already. I know. I, I, I look at it, but I don't look at it. It's just, I told, I'm a weird, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> so I know I got to look, but I mm-hmm. I need to pay more attention, mm-hmm. which I'm going to. But um, yeah, so we're about to record again. Mm-hmm. Um, We're about to record. Like I got the next, like the rest of this month. Yeah. Um. Busy as hell. Yeah. So we're about to re- record again. We're going to do a couple of sessions with the recording and some stuff. Mm-hmm. So things are going good. I'm excited about it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. It's very, very happy and for here, you. And here. Very excited. We're doing good yes, here. Yes, we're doing good here. Two-year anniversary. 
going into um, more episodes, more hot topics. Yeah, you know, with everything that's going on you in know the what, world. You know what? I realize that with the, we can't go, we can't ignore what's going on in the world, and it no. seems people really enjoy our, our opinion. I don't yes, know why. Exactly, <laughs> especially because <laughs> we're smart ass. Exactly, a mess. Messy. But they love it. Uh-huh. You know, they're listening, they're downloading, which we appreciate. We appreciate and love, believe you, know. you me. Um, but yeah, as I, season I, five. As I'm bougie right now with, me. <laughs> with bougie. Oh my god, you're a mess. <laughs> well, um, on that note. Yes. Let's get into a little hot topics before we, Here go. we go. All right, um, let's go. As you already know, I'm fired. I already got some Moscato in me. I'm fired. Where do you want to start? You start wherever you want. Okay. What is wrong with... Here we go. <laughs> okay. Do you think we should be doing the impeachment inquiry right now with everything that's going on? Do you like because I, I know I'm, is it really going to go anywhere? Are we wasting our time? Well, I'm I'm on the I don't I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, I know with a lot that's going on, but at the end of the day, even if they don't and it's a waste of time, it's really not a waste of time mm-hmm. because now people are looking at him in a different light. And that's the, that's that's the key. Mm-hmm. You know, people didn't believe or did not want to believe that he, you know, fucked with Russia mm-hmm. and did all of these things. Now you and now that it's like, yo, he's doing it again. Mm-hmm. He got away with it once. It's like that little kid who steals from the kid and mm-hmm. keeps doing it. Now that he got away with it. And now, again, the reality is now he's def- trying to deflect and things like yeah. now. Now people are like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. There's proof. Yeah. There's, you know, you, he, because he's an idiot, he even gave the proof. <laughs> like, you know, there's certain things. So for me, even if it doesn't go anywhere, at yeah. least I'm hoping yeah. that the key of it all is to allow Americans, when it comes to 2020, mm-hmm. to realize what we got going on here and who we have in office. Yeah. And that jeopardizes our um, ability as a country mm-hmm. to protect. And here's the problem. And everybody's like, oh, we need to worry about protecting in our borders and all this shit. The mm-hmm. reality is we need to protect ourselves from what we got going on in our own government that's sabotaging and doing mm-hmm. us to the point where it, it it allows for this bullshit to go on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the treason doesn't the treason. I'm not worried. Yeah. Again, I've always said this. I'm not worried about other people from other countries. Mm-hmm. I that's my least worry. Man. I'm not worried about people coming into. I'm not worried about none of that, because mm-hmm. the reality um, statistics, all the things that have happened have shown that 90 percent of our problems are internal. It's our own people, Americans mm-hmm. going in, killing, shoot, doing mm-hmm. mass shootings. You know, it's own Americans going in and wow. um, dealing with other countries, espionage, mm-hmm. trees, you're doing all kinds of things. It's our own. Um, it's not somebody coming to us mm-hmm. and saying, hey, and we're like, we're playing these spy games. Yeah. This is the, re- the reality. Yeah. So waste of time or not. Eh, I'm not sure yet. But mm-hmm. either way, I'm hoping something bigger comes out of it. And at the you know, it's Pelosi. You know, everybody's mm-hmm. like, we put Pelosi for president. Yeah. And she gives zero fucks. So she she's not scared of him. Yeah. So she's like, whatever. And he, he right now is running. He's like that kid who got caught. Yeah. And doesn't know what to do. Yeah. And so now as now we got his own party turning on him because mm-hmm. the re- finally, finally, because it's they you know, you put you, everybody. They all have their agenda. Right. Mm-hmm. We all have an agenda. Democratic. Everybody yeah. has their agenda. Mm-hmm. As long as the agenda was getting done and they could sweep mm-hmm. that shit under the rug, it was OK. But now it's forefront in your face. Mm-hmm. There's what what excuse can you give? Exactly. None. So None. we'll see. Yeah. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, his own party's turning on him. So, yeah, I even Pat Robinson. Yeah. A gr- girl of all people, of all people, because at the when you look at it, mm-hmm. what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now you're utilizing the money and your power to sit there and manipulate other kind. Of, mm-hmm. So then, what happened? This is what I say: when you do stuff like that, then when they come knocking on the door saying we owe them, mm-hmm. yes, what are we going to do? Because yeah. it's not them that's going to deal with it; it's us, the American people, yeah, taxpayers, exactly, are, all of us that have to pay for that shit. Mm-hmm. Big so, time. Well, on that note, we're gonna take a break. Right. Yes. Girl, that was quick. Okay, we got into it. <laughs> we're going to end this first part of Hot Topics, and then we're going to come back with part two uh, for our next episode. Be back in a second. Okay, bye. See you all For a new me. episode. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. 
Take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day. Subscribe, rate, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and MoscatoandTea.com.